Welcome back to the channel. In today's proceedings, I take a look at Lufthansa reporting big losses, Air India expanding its network, and there's developments at LATAM. Let me begin with what is arguably going to be the focus story. That is Lufthansa Group, who have published a brief view of their financial results, which has highlighted the true impact that it's facing following significant strikes in recent months. As a result, the group expects the hurting to continue and has adjusted its second quarter and full year outlook. As part of the latest reports for the first quarter of 2024, the group reported an adjusted loss of 849 million euros. This loss is a pretty hefty jump over the Q1 2023 loss of 273 million euros. Lufthansa cites several reasons for the higher than expected losses. Primarily, this poor financial performance was due to the various strikes that I've touched on across several videos now. Strike action included several employee groups, from ground crew to more, contributing more than 350 million euros on the impacted earnings, as they sought better pay. And that is something they've finally achieved, as I'll take a look a little bit later in this segment of today's video. An adjusted forecast was also published for the second quarter, with the company expecting a lower performance than the previous year. Wage disputes are the primary catalyst for the poor performance, as the wage bill is now expected to increase, with much focus on Lufthansa, the primary brand, settling those wage discrepancies that have been such a big talking point when discussing the broader group and airline. The company's final first quarter results are expected to be published on April 30th, 2024 which should paint a better picture into its overall performance in multiple sectors. Bookings were solid in the second quarter, at least thus far, according to the group. However, a capacity ramp-up is expected to not occur at the rates initially forecasted. The group wants to improve customers' travel experience, emphasizing that its current network is the main priority. As the group battles persistent aircraft delivery delays, also airlines within the group generally can't ramp up capacity to an ideal level. Instead of ramping up capacity and seeing slips in the quality of service, the group would prefer to focus on offering a more robust network with its current assets available. Looking ahead, Lufthansa should see expenses rise similar to other airlines that have agreed to improve wages for employees. It's not just strike action that has been hurting the airline, they've faced impact from the ongoing inability to acquire aircraft on time from aircraft manufacturers. As a result, we know the airline has been forced to retain older, less efficient types from the 380 to the 747. This is to cope with a desire still for capacity, but not your next generation aircraft to make this possible. Notable delays include the upcoming high capacity Boeing 777X, which was initially earmarked for a 2020 EIS, but that has since been delayed. Current estimates are seeing first delivery of the 777X occurring next year. However, following Boeing's persistent problems to start 2024, there are leading customers of this wide body that are concerned this will slip into 2026. Aside from the 777X, there are notable delays to other aircraft types from the A350 to the 787 as your manufacturers battle supply chain difficulties. On to the next story in today's recap, and that is with LATAM, which are an airline I don't typically cover, but they've announced that they'll soon resume non-stop Santiago to Sydney services as they look to enhance their network and still recover from the effects of the global pandemic. From the 28th of October 2024, or in time for the summer season in Australia, the airline will offer a four times weekly non-stop flight between Santiago and Sydney. This will enhance connectivity between Australia and Latin America. The carrier notes that the upcoming service adjustment will complement the existing thrice weekly offering between Melbourne and Santiago, which recommenced in 2023. LATAM is is already seen in Sydney. They returned to the city in early 2022, following a pause that was caused by the global pandemic. However, the airline has only been offering service from Santiago via Auckland. This was necessary as the airline looked to resume services to a location that it had paused, and it believed this was an important step in building. Restarting non-stop flights will provide better access to travellers between the two markets. 
and eliminate the airline's previously necessary stopover. However, even with the non-stop service launching, LATAM says it will retain the option of an Auckland stopover, providing customers with even more opportunities to travel between South America and Australia, which is a market LATAM says they see booming long into the future. Designated as flight LA810 and LA809, the service is slated to depart from Sydney on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays at 12.10pm, with an arrival the same day into Santiago at 11 o'clock in the morning. The flight bound for Sydney will depart at 1.40 in the morning on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, with the early morning departure, meaning a touchdown in Sydney, can occur at 6.30 in the morning, therefore enabling onward connectivity to either international destinations or domestic flights within Australia. The 7879 will operate a service that should come in at around 12 hours and 50 minutes. Interestingly, and a bit of a Fun fact to leave this segment on, every flight connecting Australia to South America with LATAM is operated by the Dreamliner, an essential part of the airline's network. Moving over to Air India, who are boosting their own operation in Vietnam this time with an upcoming launch of service to Ho Chi Minh City from Delhi. The service will operate five times weekly with an Airbus A320neo to be deployed on the route. These aircraft are configured with two classes, that is business and economy, providing a total of 162 seats. The service will operate on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays with the flight departing Delhi at 1.15pm. The latest addition will mark, yes, a critical moment for the airline, which for the first time is offering service between the two cities. Additionally, service commencement is seen as essential in strengthening Air India's offering towards Southeast Asia, with demand increasing between the two countries. However, it won't necessarily be all smooth sailing, as the company will actually face competition upon service launch on June the 1st, First, with already Vietjet and Vietnam Airlines operating on the route. The national carrier, however, as it continues its attempts to rebuild with new cabins, new aircraft, a refreshed image and more, hopes it'll become a leader in the sector and look to take away some valuable market share. That's going to conclude today's aviation news recap. If you have any thoughts on any of the topics that I did cover in today's proceedings, you can let me know down below in the comments. Stay tuned, same place, same time tomorrow for your latest industry recap. Take care to be safe. I will indeed see you then. Oh, well, fly. Oh, well, fly.